Hey y'all, um, happy Friday. So I wasn't even gonna vlog today, but I'm like, you know what? I can't let my subscribers down. And I know y'all look forward to my um, vlogs, or I hope you do, just as much as I look forward to some of my favorite um, people when they don't vlog. I'd be like, why they do that? So basically, I just went to Dunkin' Donuts to get me a coffee colada. And i.e. coffee coladas are like great substitutions for caramel fraps. Just in case you don't feel like paying that $5 for a whole um, grande caramel frap at um, Dunkin' Donuts. Pay $4 for this medium drink. It's the same thing, really. But I went there and the guy told me that my car, my car declined. Long story short, I found an Uber. Effing Uber took $56 out of my account. Are we not in my car? Are we not ever in my car? I'm really confused. I don't, I've never, I'm, let me not say I've never. The last time I used an Uber was in March during spring break. I have not used an Uber since. And what in the world? 56 whole dollars though? Where the hell did I go? Chicago? As y'all can see, I'm on the line right now with Bank of America. They have me on hold. Because I'm going to get my money back. Like, that's too much That's too much money for y'all to be taken away from me. And I guess it was suspicious activity. So, Bank of America, like, shut down my card. So, that's why I couldn't even use it, Dunkin' Donuts. But, shout out to that guy, Dunkin' Donuts, for giving me a free drink. Because I really wanted that. But, um... Mm. So, yeah, I just... I'm not doing anything today, y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I feel like blah. I don't even feel like getting out of my bed to do anything. But I definitely wanted this cool out of. And I needed to get things at um, Family Dollar. So that's why I did um, come out. And that's why I am vlogging. Because I don't want y'all thinking I don't love y'all. The giveaway um, winner is going to be announced at the end of this video. Yes, the end of the video. Because I'm going to have y'all watching the whole thing. You could just fast forward through the whole thing, but why not watch? And I just want to let y'all know that this is not the giveaway, the last giveaway that's going to be on my channel. I'm going to have more giveaways to come sooner than you know it. So please, please, please stay tuned to my channel. Don't just unsubscribe because you're no long, there's no longer the giveaway that you wanted. I always do giveaways. This is probably, probably my, about my fifth or sixth giveaway. So yeah. So, as I sit here and wait for Bank of America to answer the phone, I just wanted to talk about what YouTube means to me. Y'all, YouTube is some is, is probably my dream. This is something I picked up. I know y'all have heard this story plenty of times, but this is something I picked up, and this was not even a, oh, I'm doing this for money, oh, I'm doing this for free hair or free anything, because I don't get free anything. I'm going to let y'all know right now. This is something that... I picked up as a hobby and I grew to love it after my first video. This is something that I am investing in on on account on a countless baselet count <laughs> countless basis. I'm always doing something as far as my YouTube channel whether it means promoting my channel or buying a Mac with money I don't have or getting a camera. I'm I'm out here doing things. So what I've noticed on YouTube lately, I feel like there's a lot of people that come on YouTube and get instant success. No, I'm not hating. No, I'm not throwing any shade because that's them. You know what I'm saying? Who wouldn't want to hop on YouTube and get instant success? But I'm not one of those people. And I honestly can say I appreciate that I'm not one of those people because I feel like if I would have got on inst on youtube and instantly got 500 1000 1500 2000 like it was nothing i wouldn't have got the chance to get to know y'all you know what i'm saying i'm glad i got to start off small get to get to know my subscribers there's some of y'all that i know by names you know there's some of y'all that i would i'm not even afraid to give my phone number to i talk to some of y'all on snapchat you know i hit people up even just last night, one of my fellow snappies and subbies, hey girl, she made a beautiful looking dinner and I just wanted to hop in my phone and eat and I and I hit her up and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so good and I think I shocked her, but y'all, I'm 
here. I talk. Like, if you look at my um description box, when I give y'all my social media stuff, I always say that I snap back, I tweet back, I message back. I think I surprise people when I do that, but honestly, and it's, I don't want to say that, like, even when I get 100,000 subscribers that I'm not going to answer y'all in the comment boxes. I promise on everything that I love if and when I do blow up, I will take the time out of my day to go through my comments and answer. I'm never going to be too busy to go out and, like, talk to my subbies. But, hold on, I'm, like, going off topic a little bit. Basically, what I was saying is I feel like people come on YouTube and are instant successes and don't know what it means to be a small YouTuber and to appreciate YouTube. YouTube is just something that they do. As much as they try to make it seem like it's not, it's something that they got on there and was like, oh, well, I'm good at it, shit. People watching my stuff, people like it, people this, people that, and I'm getting paid, <laughs> I'm going to continue to do it. And some of us, and I know there are so many small YouTubers out there, I'm talking about a 1,000 and under, 500 and under, know exactly what i'm talking about how we get on youtube sometimes our views don't even get past 10. sometimes our views are 10 and eight of them came from us from watching our own videos and we still get back up and try you know what i'm saying i appreciate the hell out of the small youtube life i think i love it way one second my soul is just irritated right now I called Bank of America, and because the actual um, $56 or whatever hasn't been posted to my account, they can't technically do anything right now, and Uber doesn't have any voice people. They only have um, email people, and here's my thing. It's not posted. Y'all so quick to take people's money, but to give it back is always, oh, give us three to five business days. But it take you three to five seconds to take my money. Really? So I'm just annoyed because I figured out the transaction. I got an Uber from my aunt back in July. July. Three months ago, by the way. Just in case y'all not do math, which I know y'all smart. But I got an Uber from my aunt three months ago because she needed to go from the airport by my mom's house to my mom's house and I wasn't there and my mom wasn't able to go get her but I use my mom's card information and I have never used my Bank of America card on Uber so I'm trying to figure out how in the hell did they get my information but I'm <sighs> I'm just so annoyed. I'm I'm so I hate being annoyed. And I hate when money is just taken away from me like that, but whatever. I'll get over it. Mm. <laughs> After sitting in this parking lot for about 20 minutes, nothing got res um resolved, but that's okay. It's all in the Lord's hands. I'm not going to freak out. You know what I'm saying? There's been so many times where I'm worrying about when when something that I need is going to come through. And the Lord always comes through. So I'm not going to sit here and freak out about money that I know that's coming right back to me. And I'm telling y'all right now that I know it's coming right back to me. Because Uber ain't going to do that crap. But, um... Because, honestly, and if there is going to be some issues, I'm going to tell them just like this. You can return my $56 and give me two free rides because I don't play no games. But anyways, let me stop fooling around. It was a huge YouTube day the other day when LaToya announced that she was pregnant. I was just like, bitch, what? Like, honestly, I love big families i'm all for people growing their families i'm all for new family 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 families families that's just how i feel so i'm so happy for latoya although i know latoya you're never gonna watch this video congrats girl um i wanted to comment underneath her picture or her video are you sure adam's not pregnant because we all know that child gonna come out looking smack smack like adam and nothing like latoya well, we, we pray this time you pull through and the child look like you. <laughs> but my next question is, when's, I really want the Bells to have another child. I, am I crazy? I feel like I'm part of their family. But honestly, y'all, and don't none of y'all ask me when I'm having a kid because 
I will block you. <laughs> I'm not gonna block you, but I'm not having kids right now, y'all. Kendall and I are not having kids. At least we don't think so. <laughs> I'm a clown, y'all. I'm just... Anyways, back to what I was saying about YouTube, because I'm all over the place, and I hope y'all don't, like, dislike this video, which I know as soon as I just said that, somebody purposely dislike videos. That's another thing. Why do people dislike videos? Why do y'all come on people's channels and dislike videos? Me personally, if I don't like a video, I just go, I just click out of it. I'm not going to sit there and waste my time and dislike it. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all have to think about it. People put time into getting ready for these videos. People take time editing these videos. There's a lot of things that go into YouTube. And unless you are a YouTuber yourself, you have no clue how, how hard YouTube is, you know? <sighs> what, what? I feel like I have something else to tell y'all. Oh, yeah, y'all. Yesterday, Kendall and I got into it kind of bad. Let me see if the video's on my phone. I took off the ring. Yeah. I took off the ring, y'all. It, it got heated, but we were able to resolve it. And yeah, I'm going to just, I'm going to insert the video into this clip so y'all can see. Hey, y'all. So I'm out. I've been ripping and running all morning long trying to get these errands done. But now I'm on my way back home and... No ring. Kendall and I had an argument, and every time we have a stupid, and they're always stupid, every time we have a stupid argument, both of us are very hard headed people. We do the extreme, <laughs> the extreme, and you know, the argument was about an hour ago, and I miss him. I feel so stupid. Like, oh, they, I love you. That's just all I have to say. Excuse me, y'all. But yeah, I'm on my way home right now. Um, he's gonna come back after his class, and we're just gonna talk and everything. The thing about us is like, like I said, we're only two days apart, so same personality, same everything. But it's fixable. Do what I said yesterday, but honestly though, that's my bae. I love him. We have our moments. We're both hard-headed people. We have our moments where we argue. I mean, because in my opinion, if you don't argue in a relationship, something's not right. You know, y'all feel me? I feel like arguing to an extent is healthy for your relationship. Um, I feel like every time we argue, which we have small disagreements, it's never anything huge where it's just like, get out of my face. And probably why the ring came off yesterday is because we're both dramatic. But anyways, I feel like every time we have a small disagreement, we grow to appreciate each other more. You know, like yesterday when I left and I gave him the ring, I left my apartment, right? <laughs> and I gave him the ring um, the minute I left the house and I went to go run the errands. I'm like, damn, I miss Kendall. Like, I can't imagine life without Kendall, you know? Is that crazy? Do I sound psychotic? I don't know. But let me stop rambling and go into the house. So I just had a fall in the um, living room. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, y'all, but I'm anemic. And it tends to get really bad, especially when it's that time of the month. Because um, my periods are really bad. So typically, I'm not trying to be TMI here, but typically I lose a lot of blood. And with me being anemic, it's not really good. So I kept telling Kendall, I think I'm going to faint. I think I'm going to faint. And I had my water bottle here trying to be hydrated. So I got up to go in the kitchen and get more water. And I, I fainted. But I'm okay. I usually pick up quick like that. You know, I faint and I come back to. Y'all know this. The last time I, I think I fainted was at the Wale concert. Babe, did you, did you know how hype I was for the Wale concert? And New Year's, and I went and I fainted there. I like I it's on footage. Like I fainted at the Wale concert, but May and I decided that we need to go on a vacation. But we broke, you know, since Uber want to take people money and we shit. Saw some of them. And we decided we're gonna start saving up, and this is what it looks like. I know it's funny, but I don't be laughing. I know I like. 
I think what I'm going to start doing is saving like maybe five to six dollars out of every paycheck for now. What about you, Ben? Yeah, I'm start, like I said, I told you I did it before, so I'm going to start from like five. Like I can do five. Like one, like I said, like if we say if we get, we bring a 20 or something like that, and we like ones and fives. One thing I do put like a few singles in there, one five in there, be good. Right. So and we promise to never go dabbling in the, the funds. We just gonna let it sit there. I'm not going to, because I'm trying to go out. Take me out, shoot. I'm trying to go on a vacation. But yeah. I'm not- 17 shots, I'm 38.